back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I'm Big B, okay? Uh, today I got a, a new boat for the channel, all right? Somewhere in this uh, huge box is a 10 shock Formula One high performance tunnel hole, okay? It's kind of a, a rare boat, and it's like almost in mint condition. I got it secondhand on eBay. Um, I, I do want to give a big shout out to the seller because uh, he, he was real quick to respond. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it, and I asked them to package the boat, like, good. And um, the, the name of the, the seller is Fix the Jeep. I'll put a link in the description. Huge shout-out to them. Great seller. Uh, the, as you can see, the packaging is premium, okay? Uh, yeah, UPS has kind of been tough on my packages here lately. So I got the boat out the main packaging box. He actually marked it fragile for me and everything. Uh, kind of a cool backstory on this boat. Um, the seller bought this boat for himself, and he's only run it a couple times. Uh, his local pond wouldn't allow fast electric boats. It would only allow boats up to 14 miles per hour. He actually got the law called on him. They were threatening to confiscate his boat. So he... he uh, <laughs> The next time out, he actually had to sneak out there. He was, like, hiding behind the bushes and stuff, trying to run his boat. And uh, it, it just wasn't fun for him, you know? So if you're, if you're thinking about getting into RC boating, make sure you have a, a pond that you can run your boats at, okay? Uh, where, I, where I moved from, there was plenty of water. I'm talking about there was ponds everywhere, golf course ponds and... Uh, here in Jacksonville, it's actually, um, it's Jacksonville, North Carolina. There's a lot of water, but it's salt water, brackish water, you know, and there's a lot of private ponds here in Jacksonville. So, um, I only have a couple of areas I can run my boats. So, um, man, he did a good job at packaging. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Got a pretty good deal. Uh, this boat is from Malaysia. Okay, it was like 1200 Malaysian. I think that equals out to about 350 US dollar. Um, hard to find this boat in the States. It really is. It really is. And I'm fortunate to have this thing. Man, I've always wanted this boat, you guys. It, it's, I've, I actually have tunnel fever. I, I built that little mini tunnel, tunnel hole from Dr. Jet and, um, I've got tunnel hole fever. I was looking at a larger, like, like uh, a vision is what I was lo look at that. Look at that, man. That is so gorgeous. Oh, it's more. It, the camera actually gives off a blue, but in person it's it's green. That's kind of cool. <laughs> nice. That is freaking sick, boy. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir, freaking buddy. So we're going to go in more into it in just a few minutes, okay? This uh, this this particular setup here um, come with a transmitter. Oh, it's a little fly sky. Nice, nice. I get tickled, y'all. I get tickled to death when I get a new boat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Got a, a battery with it, okay? Got the flex cable, the propeller, some hatch tape. Some odds and ends there, an HRB 3200, 3300, 60C, 3S pack, okay. And the driver, I think this is like the only scratch on the whole boat. And he said that this come from the factory like that. Who's going to put a Mike Tyson head on it? <laughs> I think I am going to repaint this head, give it an ironclad helmet or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably epoxy it on or double side tape it on there. Probably epoxy it, screw it, double screw it or something. I don't know. Uh, and we won't even run that canopy. I, I think this thing's gorgeous, you guys. So I'm actually going to get it on its stand so it's not sitting on the table. So we got a, I think this is a Viper motor. It's a 1539 turn. I think it's 3100 kV. That's what I think. A 60 amp Sea King. Okay. Uh, the Fly Sky transmitter and receiver all right and um i went to go plug this battery in and it was like fully discharged um one cell had like one volt <laughs> so that's that's one thing you guys have to look for when you're buying used boats there's batteries that come with the used boat don't get your hopes up that they work um a lot of, a lot of times 
people don't know to storage charge the batteries. And, it, you know, it's just one of those things. You know, it's just a newbie mistake. You got to storage charge batteries at 3.8 per cell. Okay. So, um, I tried to recover this with nickel metal and then, like, put a trickle charge on it. And, um, I got it up to 3.8 volts per cell. And that was it. It won't accept any higher charge. So, uh, that won't work in our uh, 60 amp seeking. Okay. Um, I like how this... I like how all this is like set up. Check it out. It's real clean. Okay. With this stern drive. Look at how it how it works here. See the servo under under the motor? The motor basically clamps on one one screw to get the motor out. Yep. And uh little coupler. I got the the cable in. It's a three millimeter cable, four millimeter m4 threaded prop shaft uh i think the original 10 shock used to come with a 2.3 millimeter cable and uh since they they've up they've upgraded the cable size they've also started putting sea kings in these boats uh used to come with the 10 shock bx 60 so uh that's kind of good to see that i have the upgraded lower unit um it 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 takes a three millimeter cable and i have extra cable here if we break it it also takes the same props that my mini dom takes so we'll be able to switch out some props this is a 34 i have some 30 32 36 i uh, don't really want to push it too hard with prop choice because we'll break the cable that's that's the only downfall to having a, a lower unit outboard motor stern drive they break flick cables like it's going out of style. Uh, this boat self writes. Check this out. Boom. Okay. Flood chamber in, in each sponson. This this hole's really thin, as you can see. We're probably going to need to do some like creative reinforcements to it. Try to keep it light. I want to add reinforcement here. And like maybe a strip of carbon fiber here maybe back here uh try maybe shove some up up in here on the inside try to kind of reinforce some of the hull i definitely want to put a sliding battery tray in here so i can move my battery forward and back easily um but we're going to be running some light batteries today so we'll just kind of push them forward uh it has a magnetic hatch lock it just kind of hooks like hooks in right here and it's magnetic in the back we'll definitely have to tape it up but uh to keep water out of course so it don't sink uh look at that little baby water exit isn't that cool <laughs> um i ended up taping on my hatch hopefully it don't fly off but that tape's actually pretty good i, I actually epoxied this stand last night epoxied it together and stained it. The video just don't do this boat no justice whatsoever, man. So uh, I double side taped the, the, the 60 to the hull here. It was loose. Um, double side taped the receiver down. I may need to put a zip tie around that. And uh, we got... Oh. Okay, so you guys hear that? That's, that's full trigger, and then I go in reverse, it's actually a lot higher RPM, okay? So you you go and uh, turn, turn your transmitter on the reverse, and it actually throws the propeller into reverse. So we actually need to switch the polarity on this motor. Okay, so I usually just take the two outside wires switch them around easy peasy these all three of these wires are interchangeable so you don't really have to worry about messing nothing up so now okay now full throttle reverse now let's switch it to the, the correct okay reverse full throttle all right so we got that worked out okay it would have been super slow probably wouldn't even got on plane <laughs> if we didn't switch those wires around. Okay, um, I'm actually running a Z20C. 
We also have three other batteries. The video may be long. I don't know how fast this thing is going to burn through batteries. We got the 5500 HCL HC 120 C3S, 2200 3S uh, HCL HP flight packs. Okay, so uh, we're going to run those for the time being. I got this adapter GOM here, but um, this battery barely fits in the tray. And the way this hatch is designed, I got to be kind of real creative with the way I put my um, my wires in and, and situate the wires in the boat. So this is kind of tell me how the boat or what the boat does with, with different battery weights because we're kind of restricted on how much center of gravity we can adjust. Okay, that's why I think a uh, slided battery tray may be good. Yeah, you, you kind of have to go through a, a used boat with a fine tooth comb, so to speak. Uh, just to make sure everything's in good working order. I'm not going to tape it up for my first run because I may need to get in there and do something. But um, we'll do some prop changes later on. Pretty slick little outboard. It does have some um, adjustability, positive and negative. I'm running it at its, well... Just the way I got it at its neutral position. Okay, so the steering trim needs to go to the right. Get her tracking straight. Man, that thing's pretty on the water. Kind of figured. Kind of figured that this. Um, I kind of figured that battery would be too light, and I'm afraid the 5500 is going to be too heavy. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. My first run, I really haven't done any tuning. I just, just kind of uh, running the boat right out the box, basically, just to see what it does here. Okay, let's do a high speed turn. Oh my God, that's how they're supposed to turn. They're not supposed to have a big wide turn. They're supposed to turn just like that, you know? Just hook up on the water, boy. I bought this boat because I'm about to uh, do some work on my little tunnel jet to get that boat running right. And uh, that's not even full trigger, you guys. And I wanted to see what a real, a real tunnel boat looks like, the bottom. You know, you can, you can, you can see pictures online, but having a real tunnel, tunnel boat on the water and in person, it really will give you an idea how a bottom's supposed to be shaped. See, this boat's got a lot of dead rise. A lot. A lot more than I have on my tunnel jet. But the forward part of the sponsons are, are shaped completely different than I really thought a real tunnel hull would be shaped like. And um, I'm glad I got it. Oh, my first flip. self rights. This hull is super thin. And it... And I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna crack it, man. And I did crack the, the hand, canopy there. That's why I didn't wanna put it on, but it does look cool as hell with it on there. So I may just tape all that up. So I got the SMC 2200 in here. I moved it forward, like over the lip on the battery tray, and I filled the cockpit with water. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna stay in there, but a little extra weight up front. <laughs> <laughs> until I run that big battery. I just wanted to run two or three sets of packs. Got it taped up this time. So let's see how it does with the forward CG. I know you guys are thinking I'm a nut and I kind of am. Oh, it's holding down better. Into the wind. Nice. I put foam in this boat up forward in the cockpit and the hatch has foam in it. Don't forget to put foam in your boats. You know? Kind of taking it easy. I don't really want to mess this boat up. I've always wanted this thing. Taking it easy and, and just enjoying my model for right now. Nice sharp turn. Oh. Yep. This thing's feather light. Even with the forward CG, 
it's not wanting to pick up. I mean, it's wanting to pick up. Shoo, doggy. Yeah, it definitely needs a stronger servo. Uh, when I went to turn or kind of straighten myself up, it veered it pretty bad. And um, that was basically the motor wanting to stay where it's at and the, the servo not having quite enough tor torque to compensate. close to those trees. I think you can get this model still. Ooh, got lucky. Pretty sure you could still get this model. Um, you have to get it imported from Malaysia. Just do a, a Google search and uh, you may be able to find one. I don't think they're discontinued. I just don't think 10 shock sells them on their site. Such a pretty boat on the water. Um, I don't think I'll put 4S in it. You know, a lot of guys, I've seen some videos where guys are running 4 and 6S in this thing, and I think 3S is plenty fast, to be honest with you. You know, um, 4S is just, asking for trouble I may keep stock I'm definitely going to keep that stock motor I hate Sea King ESCs with a passion I think they're overrated I hate them I'm gonna probably change that ESC out they are overrated man they have so many issues glitches you know, I, I just I don't know. I just don't like Sea King. It's good. They're good ESCs for most people. But I, I just don't care for them. They're not good in salt water. You get any kind of salt on that on a Sea King, that's it. They're done. They are D U N done. No God, my heart just sank. Yeah, we gotta get that servo changed out. A sap. ASAP, we're in the Power HD digital micro servos, might be a good one for it. Uh, let's check the battery voltage here, and um, let's throw that bigger battery in. I'm really interested to see how that does. Let's drain all this water out the cabin here. Okay, no water in here. Oh, there is a little bit of water, that's okay. Figure that out. Let's get a voltage on this battery. I actually did pretty good in there, to be quite honest with you. Um, I wish SMC would get some more 3400 flight packs in stock. Uh, I think they're out of stock right now, and that would be perfect for this hull. Okay, so we brought it in just in time. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to get creative here with how I put this battery. Golly. With how I put this in the boat because of this, um, connector the way the hatch is made so hopefully I can get it to fit in here this battery tray is not made for a hard pack it's made for a soft pack 3s and I can clip it in there just got to be super careful here 5500 milliamp 3s hopefully that does good I got that little canopy taped up so we don't take on no water you're gonna have some pep yep I'm a uh, I'm gonna buy a special battery for it, you know, just for this bad boy. Probably that that, that flight pack from SMC. Oh, <laughs> she's grounded. Yeah, that servo is not strong enough. I mean, it does its job. It's it's just uh, not quite as responsive as I would like. I could have backed out of here, but um, I may spin that prop off.
No, no coming off the throttle, no letting her dig in, just a full trigger turn basically. No special driving skills needed. And that's where I want to get that little uh, tunnel hole at, the my, the tunnel jet. No special skills needed, you know? No special driving or nothing, just freaking let her dig, boy. Didn't even come off a throttle right there. Get my swerve on. Yep, 5500. I don't even think I need to buy a battery for it. This one seems pretty good. I got two of them. Come on. Oh, yeah. Got the weight right, boy. That's perfect. I'm not going to buy a battery for it. Got them. Yes. Yeah, that weight's perfect in there, son. Yes, sir. And the center of gravity looks right. Oh, doggy, she's getting it, boy. <laughs> full trigger, full trigger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Full trigger. Got to be more careful, boy. Oh, I wish I would have charged up two of these bad boys. <laughs> nice. Full trigger, full trigger, full trigger, full trigger. Just as pretty as you ever want to see. Yeah, a servo, man. <laughs> Hashtag dial, boy. Got to be more freaking careful. So you guys will be seeing more of this one on the channel. A little 18-inch um, uh, recoil too. You know, that's what we'll have here. I've got the, um, I'm almost done with the, uh, the build on the Little Timmy Cracker Box boat. And I did the whole build in one video. Kind of a long video, but... Uh, That'll be coming out. We'll be running that one here shortly. Never built or run a cracker box, so that'll be a freaking experience in itself, you know? No! Yeah, we're definitely getting a better servo. I like how that thing just whips around, boy. All right, oh, I can't do it like a full trigger launch because I'm scared I'll break that cable. I do have extra cable though I can put in it. I got a bunch of three millimeter flex, whole roll of it. If we don't lose the stuff, I may convert this to um, drive dog. You know, four millimeter, three six, point uh, one three of cable. So I, I'm not. I'm not just like uh, forced to run these um, four millimeter threaded props, you know. Full trigger. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of these in America. That's well, I say that, but I, you don't see them. There's none on YouTube, you know. There. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of information online about them. A couple of little threads in a forum about them. I think I think uh, I think this was right here is a freaking special boat. Don't want to mess it up. We're definitely doing some carbon fiber work to it. We'll end up messing it up. Knowing me, I'll break the mess out of it. And I'll cry if I do. It was so thin, the hole. 
it's very thin, but that's what makes it so fast. It's flexible, you know, but it's fast as shit. We'll probably get some stress cracks after a few crashes like we just had, you know, but um, it's, it's to be had with an RC boat. All right, let's bring her in. Man, that thing is running so pretty. So pretty. Whew, golly, I'm making my day right here. Yeah, see the see the water pickup right there? Pretty trick, pretty trick. You wouldn't even think that would pick up water as high as it is over the sponsons, but uh, it does, it does. I bummed out about that canopy, but it happens. Oh. I should have taped it all up before I installed it. Like reinforced it, but I didn't think about it. Let's check the temp on uh, this bigger battery here. I don't know where she's at. 84, it likes it. I got some props we can put on it. 96, 110 on the speed control. That could that could actually be upgraded. Uh, it's a 60. I actually have a Dynamite 90. Basically, well, it's a little bit bigger. It might it'll probably fit in here, but I'm using it in my little Timmy boat. Dynamite 90 is basically the same thing as the Sea King. <laughs> but my Dynamite ESCs have been reliable, whereas the Sea King, I don't know, man. I just have a thing against Sea King. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I don't she was getting off. Three seven four. That's good. Okay. Alright, alright. So I actually put another battery in here, that little twenty two hundred. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. I'm gonna call it a video. It's probably long enough for you guys. Uh what a sick boat, man. You guys will see it more. We'll uh do some prop changes and kind of tinker with it. And uh yeah, thanks for watching. Big B. Four Ankle at RC.